This video is about how to find an online archive in five steps. All over the world, libraries and archives are indefinitely closed due to the pandemic. But their online holdings are always open. This video will give you some steps to answer the question, how do I find an online archive? Before you start searching, it's a good idea to do just a little bit of thinking about what exactly you're looking for. What are the most important terms in your search? These are your keywords. If you're struggling to pin down your topic into just a few words, it can often help to think a bit like a journalist and try to answer the questions who, what, when, and where. For example, in answering the question who, you might think about a particular famous person associated with your topic. In answering the question what, you might think about the kind of material that you're looking for. Are you looking for a poster? Are you looking for advertisements? Are you looking for letters? Are you looking for diaries? The sort of general class of material that your what falls into. You can further narrow your search by including words that help you and the search engine figure out when you're hoping the material you're looking for will come from, and you can also add words that define the particular place you're hoping the archival material you're looking for will come from. It can help to think of one person or one specific place that are key to your topic. For example, in the United Kingdom, the National Archives has an extremely large and varied digital collection, so if your topic is focused on the history of Britain, that can be a really great place to go. Similarly, if your topic includes a specific famous or noteworthy person, that person will often have websites associated with them, and if you look for things like a library or an archive with their name, that will often be something that collects their papers, their letters, their diaries, photographs of them, and can be a great way to get a really rich and interesting body of primary sources for your topic. So when you spend a little bit of time thinking about what the most important words that define your topic are, you can then put those together into a search and try it out and see what happens. The next step when you get those results back is to assess them, to think about how well the results you see in front of you match up with what you were hoping to find. While you won't have time to go through every result, it's worth spending a little bit of time looking further down the page and not just taking the first two or three results that come in on your search. The fifth and final step is to keep trying if you don't find what you're looking for right away. Even very experienced researchers will almost always take more than one go to get what they're looking for. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck with your research and stay safe.